The FDA's decision um, was not surprising given that the advisory committee last year had recommended this drug be pulled for metastatic breast cancer. And what happened was this drug was sort of fast-tracked by the FDA because the first study that was done was so uh, positive and promising. And then what the FDA required was confirmatory studies to show that the magnitude of benefit was seen or confirmed in other studies. And while this drug was uh, effective in other studies, it didn't show the same degree of benefit. And there was concern about the side effects. I think the bottom line to understand is that cancer treatment is very personalized and it's hard, you know, what the oncologists need to do is individualize the treatment to the patient and the tumor. So patients currently on this uh, treatment should discuss with their doctor the risks and benefits of continuing versus discontinuing treatment. One issue here is that typically third party um, insurers will only cover drugs that are FDA approved. So because of Aston is not is now not going to be an FDA approved treatment, the insurance companies could deny payment. And because it's such an expensive drug, that would mean that uh, patients would have to come off the drug unless it could be provided through um, special patient assistance programs. In my opinion, we should continue studying this drug, especially in early stage breast cancer, and we should continue to look at the patients who do have a response or a dramatic response to look at what's different about those patients so we can predict who would benefit. I think ideally it would be something that we have in our arsenal to use for certain patients, but it's not something that um, we should give to every patient. And we're always in oncology balancing the risks and benefits, and that's different for each patient. It's hard to say um, in general what's best.